Just checking. <laughs> Just eating some tabbouleh salad. Um, hi everyone. It is Kayla here and I am just uh, wanting to post a follow-up video on uh, the topic that I discussed in my last video yesterday about the kidneys. So as a little recap, uh, I've recently found out that I have unconfirmed, because I don't need to be cut open and biopsied to prove it, um, I have unconfirmed medullary, 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 medullary sponge kidney, however you say it. It's the A-R-Y version of medulla, um, <laughs> which is part of the kidney. Uh, so. I have been learning a lot about the kidneys, and for anybody that knows me, I'm very um, determined to uh, keep my mindset in the positive place and to explore as many possibilities um, towards healing, reversal, um, you know, maintaining the body's health, and just bringing the body to a general good place. So. I wanted to, yesterday I talked about kind of those four key tips uh, that my specialist, the doctor, recommended health-wise for things I could do. Um, so this guy has like major props in my books for actually giving the client, the patient, an opportunity to um, take their health into their own hands. So that was really amazing. So a quick um, recap of that. Hydration low sodium, reducing animal protein intake or completely eliminating animal products, um, which is something that I have done. And the last thing is consuming uh, things that have, I think it's citric acid, I think that's what it was, but basically lemon juice is the best thing to get in. You can buy bottled organic lemon juice, get it put in your water, put in your salad dressings, get it in your body, and just make sure you rinse your mouth with some plain water afterwards so that um, you don't get at your enamel on your teeth. <laughs> okay, so those four key tips. Something that I personally, as a yoga instructor, as a fascial stretch therapist, as a energy worker, uh, I am a energetically trained Reiki master, but I am still definitely a novice in the whole Reiki field. I will not claim that I am a master at anything, really. But with the work that I do, and the research, the studying that I do, there is a huge emotional component to everything that happens to our bodies. And kidney-specific, the kidneys in TCM, in traditional Chinese medicine, the kidneys are related to the emotion of fear. How much of our life do we spend thinking and making decisions based on fear? So it's really something to consider if you're having issues with the kidneys, but also, as I mentioned in my last video, the skin of our body is known as the third kidney. So if the regular kidneys aren't working, often a lot of that extra work gets thrown onto the skin. And then we've got, you know, this whole thing happening and then it starts to show externally. As you can see on my face, I've got a little bit of this whole breakout thing happening. Uh, it happens, whatever. Don't pick your face, it looks better if you don't pick at it. Um, anyway, I digress. The emotion of fear. When you're trying to make a decision, do you make the decision that you make because you're like, well, I'm scared that this thing is going to happen if I decide this instead. Something like, I'm not going to go to the gym today because I'm scared I'm going to miss that important phone call. Or I'm scared that I will be a bad parent so I'm choosing not to have kids. And noticing what are these, the little decisions you make, the big decisions you make, what are the choices that you're making in your life and the the ultimate core reason, are you making this decision because you are fearful of what's going to happen if you go the other way? Or are you making the decision because 
you are excited and you love the idea of exploring that decision or you making a decision to um you know to to bring yourself to a greater place are you making the decision out of fear are you choosing to stay at a job that you hate because you're scared of the unknown you're scared of failing if you go off and do that thing that you're really passionate about what you know what is that driving force I think a lot of us have fear in our life and a lot of people aren't willing to discuss their fear uh, I will definitely admit that a lot of the decisions in my life I have done I have I've made decisions out of fear and I'm working really hard to make that shift um, but this is you know something to consider so I want to stop the video here and I want you to think about that and if you want to uh, you know start a start a discussion down below and uh, what is one decision that you've made recently out of fear and what is one decision that you've made recently out of love give yourself a few moments to think about it and share down below because I think the more transparent that we are with our communities with other people the more that we learn that we are not alone in in our lives especially the things that we don't talk about what are the things that you're really passionate about deep inside the things that light you up what are the things that you're scared of talking about both of these, th these things and becoming aware of them so thank you so much for stopping by and I'm going to try going a daily while I'm away, but I am leaving in the morning, so I'm off to continue packing for my trip, and I hope to see you every day, but if not, um, be ready to see some uh, awesome vlogs when I return from Arizona, so uh, have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!